There's an old saying in Washington, never let a good crisis go to waste. Instead, we should be saying, never let a crisis be an excuse for government waste. An Abuse of Crisis Prevention Act offers a true government reset and a chance to reaffirm basic principles of limited government. Here's how. In the past two decades, we've seen Congress react to three major crises with ill-conceived flash policy that has resulted in the biggest expansion of government in our lifetime, record levels of household dependency on government, and trillions upon trillions of dollars in intergenerational debt for Americans, all of which lead to new regulation. Here are just a few ways an Abuse of Crisis Prevention Act could reset how government handles crisis. Get rid of never needed regulations that hinder our response to national crises. Roll back powers of the executive to unilaterally declare national emergencies. And finally, clarify distinctions between federal and state roles during crises. That's just a taste. There's plenty else that needs to be done. Limited government cannot survive repeated experiments in debt finance and hyper-regulatory crisis interventions. We need to stop the next abuse of crisis before it happens. Not a policy paper, just a thought.